I would often think to myself, why is this girl single? She's this amazing combination of lovely, super smart, fit, and the year before she met Nick, she had convinced herself that she was going to end up single, alone, forever. <laughs> We would often have these conversations where I'd say, you're not going to end up alone, Karen. And Karen would very adamantly say, yes, I am. I know it. And I've accepted it. I'm beginning to learn a little more about myself. See, I used to think I didn't need anyone else. While out with friends in a few gins deep, Karen, with a spot of Dutch courage, messaged a lad that she had matched with online, which is not something she would have uh, done any normal day. What some would call an absolutely hilarious and totally ridiculous coincidence was that she found that he was at the exact same tavern, at the exact same gin festival, at the exact same time as her, literally through a window from each other. Now, I would call that fate. Any advice for Karen and Nick moving forward? But no. then I saw what life looked like With someone by my side And realised Only part of me was mine Amusingly, Nick was uh, terribly nervous over those first few days. Conversations started out very practical, which helped Karen understand the ins and outs of how to file taxes and submit GST returns. After the first date, Nick debriefed with me and became very obvious to me that there was something special there. As time would pass in the blink of an eye and when they were apart, they looked forward to seeing each other again. You're really lucky to have sort of landed here with Karen, to be honest, mate. Um, so I, I know this will be good and this will be a long one. It was obvious to me that Nick was in really good hands. What if I set this anchor down and begin to look around, let love flow out? These heartbeats count. Nick and I are such good mates that he thought I looked that dapper on my wedding day that when he asked to borrow my suit for the wedding, I was more than happy to oblige. <laughs> I will never forget the first time I held Karen in my arms and looked at her little face and saw those alert, bright blue little eyes and that incredible feeling of love and protectiveness. And here we are, just a few short years later. What if we love to love, rather than love to change? Can we love just because, love what makes us the same? Cause we're better together, oh we're better. How lucky am I to be standing here marrying my best friend in front of the people who mean so much to us? It has taken a few years, but I've found you. You are thoughtful, caring and kind. Nothing is ever a drama to you. I love that about you. I promise that I'll continue to be patient with you, even while we hunt for your lost possessions, even if it takes hours on end. But most importantly, I'll be your best friend, your confidant and your biggest supporter. I'm so glad I had the courage to approach you at the gin festival even if it took a pep talk in the bathroom and two tries. I love that you were brave, persistent and willing to try things outside of your comfort zone. Like when you came to eight weeks of salsa classes with me despite being filled with anxiety and us having a fight in the car on the way there every week. <laughs> I feel safe with you and you feel like home. I know our life together is going to be full of fun and adventure and I look forward to the rest of Forever by your side. How does it feel when your daughter's getting married? How does it feel inside? There's no more of the song because I didn't quite get finished, so I'll tell you. Mr. and Mrs. Good Time.
you bring out the best in me and everyone around you. The best thing I ever did all of those years ago was go to the gin festival, meet you, jump into life with you. I love you so much, Mrs. Davis. Here's to forever with you by my side. My beautiful wife. Raise your glass. Shit, that was a good night. Let's do that again. <laughs>